And on that note, we cue the music. Under the outdoor with the steamboats, ancient goblins and wild loads. Come at the grand line, making a sound. The smell of death is all around. And at night when the cold wind blows, no one cares, nobody. YouTubers, it's me, Gary, and uh, we are the Kaiser Soze and Co Mr. Kobayashi of uh, Bill's Books. I'm Kaiser because uh, you guys Nobody never either. actually see me. And he walks funny. Yeah. So, um, but uh, let's get right down to the books. And he's my lawyer. I'm his lawyer. You got problems. There has never been a worse lawyer since uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Anyway, uh, Marvel Tales by Alan Davis. You cannot go wrong with Alan Davis. We've said it before. And, and I bet with this one, uh, better than the DC, I bet it's not doesn't have a misprint in it. Yeah. The DC Alan Davis hardcover apparently has a couple pages flip-flopped. Speaking of printing errors, last <gasps> week I got Fra Frankenstein Mobster. Great book, by the way. I love it. The binding is for shit, quite frankly. It fell apart on me. They're like the first, the first four or five pages fell out, and then the whole cover fell off. So, Anyway, so if you buy it for $5, just be aware that it's possible that the binding may fall off on you. So mm, mm. Be very careful with it. Anyway, uh, Adventure Time. Everybody loves Adventure Time. I still don't know anything about it. it you just got to shut your brain off and go. Okay. Uh, we've got Alan Roberts' Kilogy with several different covers. Bree Grant. It's also Bree Grant week because of... Let's Play God. Yep. Her and her brother. Yep. So we got Bree Grant. And my personal favorite, Frank Vincent, well-known wise guy actor. Billy Bats. That's right, Billy Bats. Go uh, home and get your shine box. You, you forgot the other one, though. There's a third cover. Is there a third one? Yeah, there's a third cover. Okay, I'm sorry. There's a third oh, cover. oh, that's the best one of all. What? Marky what? Ramon? Marky Ramon? He's the last living Ramon. And he's not technically even a Ramon. That's right. He's a Ramon in law. He, yeah. Uh, new Jonah Hex. Looks like he's fighting a crazy clown. Can't go wrong there. Well, go figure. Gotham, clowns. Yeah, well, I never thought of it that way. At some point in time, I really hope he leaves town. Yeah. Are you talking about Jim, Jonah Hex or me? Well, um, new, new Crossed. Um, new Dark Horse Presents. Which also has a Palmietti and Grey story in it. Part 2. Woohoo! Uh, Deadpool. Everybody is a big fan of Deadpool. Yep. Um, 100 page spooktacular Ghostbusters. What? It's spooky. It's spooky. It's perfect for Halloween. Ooh, Speaking of perfect ooh. for Halloween, I Vampire. There you go. Please read this, because if this gets canceled like Frankenstein, I'm going to hold each and every one of you personally responsible. Yeah, my, my DC titles are slowly dwindling. Yeah, mine too. Um, let's see what else we have. Mind Management. Always pick this up. Pick oh. it up. Don't not be reading this. Don't don't let somebody catch you not reading this. No. That's And that's great, because that's the last of the arc... And then there's an issue zero, and then the new arc starts. Perfect time to jump. Perfect time. Shadow, Howard Chaykin cover. <coughs> there's yeah. a better cover. Oh, you know. John Cassidy? Is it John, no. the John Cassidy cover? No. Is it the John Cassidy no. cover? No. Is it the Francesco Francovia cover? Oh, my cover? God, that is just what? artwork. What? Anyway. Um, we got the Spawn uh, Dark Knight homage cover. <laughs> That's one way to boost uh, sales on Spawn books is yeah, right. do all these homage covers. Yeah, right. Uh, we have, oh look, Shaolin Cowboy. I love the Shaolin Cowboy. It suffered from uh, chronic late-itis, but I did love Shaolin Cowboy. It's about a little fat cowboy in a post-apocalyptic wasteland who fights dinosaurs and all kinds of crazy stuff. So, check that That's out. That's just goodness right there. Yeah, so, um, The Walking Dead prose novel, the second one, The Road to Woodbury. I read the first one. It was pretty cool. It's kind of the, the first one is kind of the governor's origin, and this is kind of like, I guess, part two of it. Yeah. So and remember, you, folks, that one doesn't have pictures in it. No pictures. It's on. It's a wordy book. How are you supposed to read it? Anyway, 
see what else we got. What's up there? This might be one of the covers of the week for me. The Astonishing X Men. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Oh yeah. Um, we got Avengers. We got Batman Incorporated. Batman, yeah. Oh, last issue of Debris. Oh yeah, prepping us for next. Uh, is it next week? Is Bedlam? Next week, Bedlam number one comes out. We're very excited. That about way, we can we don't have to go a whole month without a Riley Rossmo art. That's right. Irresistible. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Hello. Uh, multiple warheads. Nick bought it because Nick said he's a sucker for new books. Yeah. Nick likes to try new things. I've heard. <laughs> and, and, the, and the drug dealers love me. <laughs> They're like, "Hey, want to try this? It's new." I'm like, "Sure, why not?" <laughs> Panther. With a Mark Tejera cover? Why are you ducking me, Mark Tejera? Why is Mark Tejera ducking me? It's like he owes me money and I don't know. Maybe it's just because, you know, he doesn't see you. He's looking it, over top. It could be. You would think he yeah. would notice something my size, though. No. Uh, Punisher Warzone, number one. Who doesn't love the Punisher? Yeah, especially when he goes after the Avengers. That's right. They got it coming. They always have it coming. Talon, number one. New uh, uh, DC title. Looking forward to like the uh, March's art, so... Okay. I went into zero with low expectations and was very pleasantly surprised. Uh, yeah. Excellent, always a good thing. Oh yeah. Uh, the untold tales of Dong Dog Dong. Yeah. Did I say Dong? <laughs> dong, where is grandfather's <laughs> automobile? <laughs> What's happening? All hot stuff. Anyway, Dog Mendonka and Pizza Boy. It still sounds like a porno movie. Right. That was that's another one of those issue zeros. It was. Uh, Collecting the stories that were in a Dark Horse Presents. Dark Horse Presents. It's definitely yes. worth picking up if you don't yes. get all of them. Uh, am I wrong, or is this the first week without a Before Watchmen book? It is. Uh, instead, we got this one, which a lot of people said was under-ordered, but no one's coming in looking for it the here. The Bravest Warriors. It's from the same people that do... Uh, Adventure Time, yeah. it looks like. So, oh, we got that. Oh, oh, what? 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 Is that a Frank Avelia cover? An entire issue of Frank Avelia art? What? Oh, that's just awesome. Gambit. Still liking Gambit. More Cajun butt. Cajun butt. Um, Journey into Mystery, last ish issue of the Loki arc, Nick yeah. informs me. So yeah. um, after the Marvel Now, new creative team, and it'll start following Sif. Lady Sif. I always thought it was funny that Thor's kind of girlfriend's name is Sif, which is kind of short for syphilis. Anyway. No. Anyway, um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, we already mentioned Let's Play God. I, I thought for sure you'd go for one of these Kiss as cover of the week. Mm. Girl kiss. Girl kiss. I wonder it, if there. I wonder if there's any girl kiss inside. I'll <laughs> check after the video's over. Uh, we have this from a local uh, comic book producing uh, uh, entity. Duo. Yeah, uh, Ragged Rider: Tales of a Cowboy Mummy. Just sounds cool. So. I actually I, I got one when they brought them in to sell them. So yeah. I brought them for the shelf and I bought myself one. So. It was actually really good. And the one-eyed horse named Naclops. How do you go wrong? You with don't. That? You don't go wrong. No. You don't go wrong. That's how you go wrong. Revival. You, again, you don't go wrong you there. Like revival. Wolverine Max. There's a character apparently called Wolverine. He's kind of a... He's he, a little he, known. He Marvel. was going to be my obscure character of the week, but... Uh, you know, now that he's got two he's, series, he's got two whole issues on the table there. Yeah, right, right next to each other. We also have, number one, Walking Dead magazine. So... Uh, we got both covers. Yes, so we have those. And um, right next to that, you missed... Uh, don't don't pass Greg Pak's Extreme X Men. I would never. Because that, that's got Dazzler in it. People, Dazzler. Everybody loves Dazzler. If you're not, re yeah. It, all you gotta say is Dazzler. And yeah, I'm in. So th those are the new books for the week. So we gotta. And of course, as always, we miss a couple. Yeah, we can't. You can't please everybody. No. I think you'd get sick of us if we went through everything. Exactly. I'm sick of us already. <laughs> uh, the monsters. Come on, for fans of. Uh, of uh, classic uh, television. We have the last Munsters figures. Uh, I would like to buy it just for the little Wolfman doll that goes in it. But, oh, yeah. I think um, you can actually get that Wolfman doll. <clears throat> Obscure character of the week, Vermin. I'm just saying. Vermin, the villain, he's like a were rat. He's like man rat. He's uh, everything. Yeah. I like Spider -Man. him. Spider Man. I like him. You yeah, he like was Vermin. in uh, Craven's Last Hunt. Made his debut in the Mike Zek run of Captain America. And then he was in Mike Zek's um, Craven's Last Hunt. So Vermin. Vermin. You would go to Vermin. Why not? Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, oh, don't forget, we got sale coming this week. Uh, Halloween sale. Uh, here's the information. Look at that. We've already been through all this, but we're just reminding you. So how do you go wrong there? You don't. So, and also, the first, uh, first several few. kitties that come through the door, we have 
little Halloween goodie grab bags. Full um, of those comics and other good stuff. Yeah, so there's some comic books, some hero clicks. What else we got in there? And then there's all kinds comics. of crazy stuff. Poster book. Oh, Ghost Rider poster book. Look at that. So bring your kids down and check us out at the sale. It's also, candy for the mind, candy not, for not, the mind. not for the dentist. That's right. Um, also, we're going to have, like like I said, our favorite artist, uh, Daryl Banks, is going to be here. He's going to be doing sketches and all kinds of stuff, signing autographs and signing prints and all kinds of stuff. Um, I think this just showed up on the shelf this week. Since uh, Daryl co-created Kyle Rayner, this would be the perfect thing to buy and, and have, have signed. Sign by Daryl Banks, one of the co-creators of Kyle Rayner. There's what it looks like. So comes the ring, and the ring lights up in there. Yeah, definitely check that out. Come on down and hang out with us. Uh, we should all be in the house for the most of the day. Um, let's see what else. Oh, we'll probably outnumber customers yeah. for a while. The internet sale of the week is our J5 sketch covers. We've got four of them here. I'll lay them out on the counter so Nick can get a good look at them. We've got the Spider Woman. We've got the Mighty Thor Loki. We've got Rogue from the X-Men, and we've got the brand new one, Scorpion, on an Avenging Spider-Man cover. Uh, these are generally 30 bucks. We're going to give them to you 20 bucks a, a, a piece this week, plus shipping and handling, obviously. But shipping and handling on a book is not all that much. So yeah. this is your chance to own original J5 artwork, and uh, we love him here at the store. So please uh, open your wallets and open your hearts and give these comic books good homes. So... We've got that going Otherwise, on. Gary will buy them. Otherwise, I will have to buy them. So, um, also, we want to do a little sucking up this week. One of our uh, YouTube faithful viewers, uh, what, what's his name? It's uh, Dr. Dr. Nay, Nay, something. I, I, I was going to go with his actual name that was on the package, oh. but I, I mispronounced it, too. So, okay, let's just um, call him our faithful YouTube viewer. Yeah, we'll, we'll point him out in the, the description. Yeah, so... We he, don't want to mispronounce anything. He went to New York City Comic Con and answered one of our pleas of the week for Foster Number 2. This guy went above and beyond and out of his way to yeah. get us two Fine. copies of, two signed copies mm -hmm. of Foster Number 2. Now Nick and I will be able to read issue three when it comes in. So he also sent some other stuff. He sent a great Pacific Number 1, written by Joe Harris, with art by Martin Morato, autographed. And a New York Comic Con exclusive, Walking Dead magazine. This guy is amazing. Mm. Uh, we are we are metaphorically carrying you around on our shoulders this week. Talk about building your karma, man. You are really building your karma. Please, if there's anything you need that you think we might have, let us know. Nick will come. Nick and I will come out of our personal uh, uh, credit just to uh, hook you up with something. Right. Although I haven't discussed that with Nick yet, so maybe it'll be coming out of my first. <laughs> Say what? But anyway, we really appreciate it. Plea of the week. The pleas of the week are magnificent. In fact, we have another one this week. Oh, yeah? We do have another one. Bill asked me to send this plea out. We have probably half a dozen boxes, little boxes like this, of uh, <clears throat> DC New 52 comics with the covers cut off. We want to... Give, you know, we did the return, so you have to send the covers back. These are books without covers, but they're great reader copies. We wanted to send them via USO to uh, the we're, troops. We're th thinking about them, or I also have someone else that I was talking to the Wounded Warrior Project. So we're yeah, we're thinking about sending those to uh, some, some of the troops in Afghanistan or wherever they may be stationed. Um, if anybody else has any ideas uh, or any way to make that happen more efficiently. We would definitely like to know, or if you have another comic book uh, adjacent uh, charity that might be interested in some uh, in some coverless DC New 52 books, let us know, and we would love to send them. We hate to throw them out. Yeah. Uh, they're still and good comics. Keep in mind, though, that there's Catwoman in that mixed in there, so you might not want to go to any, like, kid hospitals or anything like that. But some grown-up hospitals, There you maybe. go. Yeah, or some clinics. Of some kind. The free kind? Yeah, there you go. So anyway, so that's our plea of the week. Please help us figure out something to do with all of these comics. Uh, we, we don't want to throw them away, and we want to give them to worthy cause, so let us know. So uh, don't forget this Saturday is the, uh, is the big sale, so come on down and hang out, and we will be back next week. So hasta regaga. Toodles. YouTube land, I'm back. Bill is here, and he's cleaning out this giant storeroom that we have over here.
and he's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And he came across what, in my opinion, is the mother load find of all time. Even better than the mash cards? Even better than the full set of mash cards in the binder that we found. <sighs> anyway, look at this. An entire stack <clears throat> of Deadly Hands of Kung Fu magazine. Look at those eyes. How do you, do you know do you know how I feel about it? Look at this. We've got He's got ten pole people. Look. King size pinup of David Carradine in this one. Oh, that's just Here's a Bruce Lee cover. Uh, I think that's Neil Adams, isn't it? Look kinda looks like it, doesn't it? Who knows? Look, he's he's deflecting ninja stars. Come on. Show him the best. The best. I'll show you the best. I'll show you the best. You want the Look best? Look at all that. Look at all this kung fu action that you've got here. <laughs> Look, a team up, Shang Chi, Iron Fist, and Bruce Lee. Um, the final duel, but apparently there's more issues. Somehow it's the final duel, but yet not. Anyway, the best. Are you kidding me? It's Deadly Hands of Kung Fu with Chuck Norris in all his hairy chested glory on the front, kicking at the reader. I need I need a little time to myself. I got to be honest with you. We just wanted to share. Okay, I'm going into the bathroom now. Bye. Bye.